You must reach the attic, whatever it takes, no matter the pain. The attic- GET OUT OF MY GOSH! Hey, it's Zach. Hi. Welcome back to another episode of Three Random Horror Games. Now I know I look like I just crawled out of a bunker. Let's not pay any attention to that. This first horror game is called Julia Was Alone. Chapter 1. Now, who is Julia? That's it. That's all I had to say. Shake my hand. Read content warning. Oh, no. Oh, no. Contains pixel violence, gore, body horror, jump scares, disturbing imagery. And disturb Come on, man. <laughs> we can handle some disturbing imagery. What are y'all looking at right now? <laughs> All right, enable footstep sounds. Why not? Why not? I mean, if we're gonna play it, y'all, we're gonna play it. Ooh. Ooh. Wait a minute. Julia. What's up, bruh? Bars! Listen, this game is Julia was alone. I might have to pull out the phone. Wait a minute, 911, there's a man with a gun. Later. Julia. Julia. What the fuck is that? Mom's calling me, I better go see her. So we can just click around the house. Okay, I like it. Mom's downstairs. All right, let's go see mom. I fuck with point and click games, y'all. I really do. Hello, mom. Oh, mom, what's up? Julia, I've been calling you for 10 minutes. I'm already here, mom. <laughs> What's the matter? I need you to go pick up some groceries at the Mart. So you'll have to be alone for about an hour. Oh, she's gonna go pick them up. I'm already 19. You're 19? I can take care of myself. Yeah, mom, go get the fucking milk. Listen, there's some chores I need you to do. You've been slacking off all evening and I need you to help. Anything for you, mommy? Stop! We're two minutes into the video, y'all. Okay, okay, I'll do the chores, all right. And I wasn't slacking off. I was reading a horror novel. Oh, Julia, when will you stop wasting your time with horror? You should do something more productive. It isn't a waste of time. One day I'll be a novelist. We can discuss it later, honey. I need to go before they close. Here's the list with your chores. Okay, mommy. Thank you, mommy. I love you. Mm, mommy, mommy, mommy. Hate to see you go, love to watch you leave. What? And remember, do not go into the attic. If the door is unlocked, just lock it. You'll be fine. What? What is in the attic? Oh no, there she goes. Okay, what What are our chores? We shall wash the dishes. I can do that. Um, who is that up on the wall? Let's go to the kitchen and do some dishing. Time to wash the dishes. Okay. I'm scared, like, I, I know it's not gonna be this peaceful for long. Okay, I'm done. Huh? The doorbell? Someone's at the door. That's your doorbell? Okay, this shit is heavenly. Hello, who's there? Julia, are you there? It's me, Mr. Roberts. Who the fuck is Mr. Roberts? I don't know you. Oh! Hello, Mr. Roberts. Julia. Is your mom here? I need to speak to her. Oh no, she went to the store. She'll be back in like an hour, Mr. Robert. Maybe less. Oh, I see. It's okay. I can come back tomorrow. Have a good night, Julia. Remember to keep your doors locked. Have you seen the news? There's a maniac at large. All right, Mr. Roberts, go ahead now. Go back to the nursing home. I appreciate it. I appreciate it, Mr. Rob. I can handle myself. I should check the list and finish my next chore. Wash the dishes, clean the toilet. <sighs> if I have to, y'all. If I have to. Which toilet are we cleaning? Is there one down here I gotta clean? Let's see. Oh, hell no. Oh, so it's just me and mom in the family? I got it. I got it. Okay, mom. Me and you working together. Let's see. Let's go check this door. Here we go. Now I gotta get my hands dirty. Time to clean the toilet. Have y'all ever cleaned the toilet? Like, I actually got in there and, and it's not great. Okay, I'm done. Another doorbell? Hello? Hello, my name's Molly. My car broke down. May I use your phone, please? Uh, no. <laughs> I'd say no. What should I do? Oh. Oh. Okay, so if I open the door, 
I'm fucked. But if I don't open the door, they're gonna throw rocks, rocks through, through my your window, windows. And I don't want that to happen. I'm not gonna open the door. I'm sorry, I can't let you in. I might get in trouble for that. Maybe I should have saved. I should check the list and do my next chore. Oh no. Oh no. Wash the dishes, clean the toilet, and check if the attic is locked. If it's unlocked, lock it immediately and leave. What the fuck? Um. Ugh. Okay. Where's the attic? Is it this right here? I don't want to walk up this escalator to hell. Oh, oh, oh. I didn't like that noise. Okay, let me save real quick. There we go. Okay, let's... Is it locked? The attic door. It's locked as it should be. Oh, phew. Okay, so we're good. I've always wondered what mom keeps in there. I've heard some really strange noises coming from the attic. Mom said they're probably rats. It's probably dead. Have we thought about that? Doorbell again. Oh my. It's like, y'all? This is a hot spot for visitor. Let's check. Hello, hello. Who's there? No one? So we're so we're playing pranks? Okay, we don't have like a ring camera. We can ding ding no. Hello, what are you doing out? Oh boy. Uh who are you? You're making me mad. You're making me crazy. Okay, stop, Julia! Ow! No, no, because he's got the knife in his hand. Ow! Scalpel. Yay! What the fuck was that? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. I need to call the police. I don't know where the fuck the phone is. Hold on. Is it in here? Go ahead. Click! Julia! Okay, phone? That's a phone right there. I need to call the police. What's the number? What's the number? What the phone is it working? Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. He's in the house. I need to get out of the house and look for help. The garden. I should escape through there. Bitch, I don't know if the guard. Oh, okay. Can we go out there? If you don't, if you don't. Oh, he's coming to play. Hold on, out the, out the, out the door. Ah! We're dead. I don't have time for that. What are you talking about? Bust the window and jump out the. Oh my gosh! Right in her face! Stand by! Bitch, I'm sitting down! Julia, Julia. And then the game restarts. How strange. I feel like I had a really crazy dream. I can't remember it. We probably just jumped timelines. And now I'm not dead anymore. Let's see. Mommy, mommy, mommy. You're not gonna believe this shit. The fuck? Wait a minute, we got cracks in the, uh, in the home? Okay, hi, mommy. Julia, I've been calling you for eight minutes, or nine minutes. I'm already here, mom, what's the matter? I'll go visit your grandma, she's feeling lonely. You're gonna have to be alone for an hour. All right, I'm 19, I can take care of the, okay. We gotta do all the chores again? All right, love you, mommy. Mm-mm, mommy, 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 okay. Adios. You know what I just noticed? Don't go into the attic. If the door is unlocked, just lock. Okay, yeah. Thank you, Mom. The picture of us on the wall is torn apart. What is that about? Okay. Ew! Wait a minute. There's, like, blood. There's cracks in the door. Cobwebs on the wall. What the fuck is happening? Okay. I'm done. Uh, hello? Julia, is that you? It's me, Mr. Roberts. Again, Mr. Roberts. Hello, uh, I came to see if you're all right. I saw your mom leaving. Yeah, she went to visit grandma. Glad you're okay. Have a good night. Remember to keep your doors locked. Okay, all right, Mr. Rob. Thank you, man. I don't know this guy. I Like, I actually don't know him. He shows up sometimes at the house. Mom and him might have something going on. I should check the list and finish my next chore. All right, well, I already know what it is, y'all. We got to clean this damn toilet. Disturbing and disgusting is what it is. Here we go again. Hello, Julia. What? How do you know my name? My name is Barbara. I have something important to tell you. You can just come outside for a few minutes and we can talk. Shit, I mean, I might as well. I guess I could listen to what she has to say. Might as well give it a shot. Hello. 
Oh, you look just like her, only younger. Okay, well, you look like you've seen a ghost. Her, who are you talking about? My mom? I don't have much time, and coming here will put me in danger, so listen carefully. You must reach the attic, whatever it takes, no matter the pain. The attic? Oh my gosh! They found me. I need to leave. Don't forget to reach the attic and watch out for the stairs. That was weird. Not only did she know my name, but she also knew about the attic. That is the weirdest part about this whole thing? I don't think so. I guess I should tell mom about this once she comes. Home? Let me save really quick. Let me just save because now I got to go back up to this attic. Do, do, do. I don't like that. Wait a minute. Look at mom. Why is mom asleep in the picture? Is that like symbolism for... I'm not even sure. I'm really not. Let's go up to this attic. See if it's unlocked. It's locked. Okay, good. That woman said I need to get into the attic. I can't stop thinking about that. I've always wondered what my mom keeps in there. I've heard... Yeah, I know. I know. It's definitely not rat. She's 100% hiding something. Here we go again with the doorbell. Let me save really quick. Oh my, you really just fell down the stairs like that? What the fuck? Are you okay? Did I just fall to my death? What the hell was that? Julia, Julia. Are you for real? Why does my neck hurt so much? Oh, 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 ow! Wait a minute, this dude's reaching out the portrait. Mom's calling me, I better go see her. Okay, let's go, y'all. Shit. Look at the home. Look at the home. Look at the picture. Uh-uh. Okay. All right, Mom. Mom, I'll go visit the Mart. She's feeling a bit groceries. You'll have to go. What? Mom, what are you saying? Uh, what's wrong with you, Mom? Oh, my gosh! Mom! Wait, what happened to her head? Mom! Is this for real? Jo oh my gosh. Wait a minute. Y'all y'all stop playing. Y'all stop playing. What the fuck is she trying to do? Put mommy back together? This is this is weird, y'all. This is I don't even know what I am I even playing a game anymore? What the fuck is happening? Julia Julia God damn it! That wasn't a dream. Am I going insane? Please let this be a normal night. Mom's calling me again. I better go see her. Hopefully nothing weird will happen now. Oh my fuck. Dude, he's got us in his clutches. I don't know. I'm not even gonna look. I'm not even gonna look. Mommy, mommy? Okay. Who? when I call your name, you must come immediately. I'm already here, mom. What's the matter? Mr. Roberts needs me to keep him company. You'll have to be alone home for an hour. I'm already 19. All right. Chores. Got it. Go home and go over there and chill Mr. Robert, mommy. I got it. All right. Thank you. Love you, mom. Wow. This house looks... This is fucked up. It really is fucked up. She's going to say something about don't go in the attic. I got it. Okay. Let's go do some dishes. Why not? Oh, wow. Dude, am I in the fucking Matrix? Right now, what is going on with the holographic? Time to wash the dishes. Clean the oven. Oh, we got new chores now. Watch television. Is that really a chore? All right, shit. I mean, some some shows do really feel like a chore to watch. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. Huh, why is there a black hole in my living room? Now this is odd. I need to clean the oven first. What, I thought we were watching TV. Julia, you got this all backwards. I don't know what... Here, let's clean the oven now. Okay. Alright. Okay, I'm done. Whoa! That's that fucking clown! Billy. Some things in life never change. Who's there? I'm here to deliver a pizza to... Let me check. Julia? Oh, that's me! Pizza! Yes! I bet mom ordered it. Of course, there's, it's a... I'm gonna give it to him, because the, the pizza prank is... That's a classic. There's no one out here. It was probably just a prank. Jerk! 
It's probably inside the house. Um, I should check the list and finish my next chore. It's watching TV. What a fun chore. Let's go ahead. Mom wants me to watch television? All right. Can't say no to that. Well, maybe I can. I'm not too sure what the fuck that was. It must be broken, but I guess that chore is done. Here we go, y'all. Here we go. We're not even on game two yet, and we're still chilling? <laughs> Come on, y'all. Hello? My name is Molly. My motorcycle broke down. May I use your phone? Molly, you were just here yesterday with a different excuse. So, no. This person sounds very familiar. She doesn't sound dangerous. Okay, um... I don't give a fuck. Why are we... Oh, damn. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. Is it is it Molly or Mommy? Which one? Come on. Hello, sweetie. Can I use your phone, man? My motorcycle broke down. I don't know what to do. All right, you can come in and use the phone. Oh, thank you so much, sweetie. I promise I won't take long. Yo, yo. Yo, yo. Fucking... All right. You bitch! Uh-uh. You can't play with my heart like that! Scalpel. Yeah. Oh god, oh god, oh god. I need to call the police. Do you remember what happened last time we tried to call the police? It didn't go very well. Let's try it again though. Hello, the phone isn't working. Oh wow. Okay, that's that's great. He's in the house. I feel like trying to leave through the garden won't work. The attic. Perhaps I can hide there. I mean we can give it a damn shot. We can give it a damn shot. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to, uh, be able to juke him like this. Ooh, I'm juking, I'm juking, I'm juking! Let me go up the attic, y'all. I don't like that. I don't like that. Here we go. In, 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 in! Okay, don't play with me. Don't play. Come on, attic time, attic time. Oh, what? Bro, he was shot at my ass! I'm in a casket. Yep. Yep. Where am I? Hello, is anybody out there? Hello, hello. Can anybody hear me? Let me out. I can't breathe, please. This is like top three worst fears for me. Getting buried alive. Stand by. This shit is unbelievable. Julia, Julia. Oh my fuck. I couldn't breathe. I think I remember I've died over and over again. And the house keeps changing every- Yeah, I'm telling y'all, she's switching timelines. It's not as crazy as y'all think it is. Y'all probably done it a couple times. Mom's calling me again. I'm supposed to go see her. I need answers and she might have them. I'll ask her about the attic and I'll tell her about Barbara. She'll have to answer. I don't think mommy is- Oh my gosh. Are we living in like, uh, under a microscope? That's what this looks like. Julia, what took you so long? Mom? What's in the attic? The attic? There's nothing in- Why would you ask that? You're lying. There's something wrong with this house. You're not even human. I know you're a robot. A robot? Honey, what's wrong with you? Did you hit your head or something? Barbara visited me. She told me I needed to go into the attic. Answer me. What's in the attic? Barbara? She told you to go into the attic? So you do know her. Who is she? What do you keep in the attic and what's going on? Mom's like, you know what? I'll show you. I'll show you. Aren't you going to answer? Come on, mommy. Say something or don't. <laughs> it's up to you. You're supposed to follow my orders. You're supposed to follow the pattern. Here's the list with your chores. All right. All right. I've had enough of your stupid chores. Oh, shit. Mommy about to snap. Mom about to bring out the belt. Bad girl. You're a bad girl. Mommy, what the fuck happened to your eyes? Oh! Oh, wait. We're choking out Mommy, I think. Or is that Mommy choking? That's Mommy choking us. Oh. Julia, Julia. Oh, my gosh, y'all. What? I remember everything. This thing killed me again. It looks like Mom, but it's some sort of android. Robot mom, deformed killer stairs, one way or another, it seems I always have to die. Enough of this. I won't die again. That robot is calling me. This time I'll ignore her and go straight to the attic. But yeah, it looks like we're in a more heavenly kind of home now, which is nice. Let's see. 
do 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 I don't like that. Let me save really quick because some shit is about to pop off. Let's go. The door's unlocked. Oh shit. I'll finally know what's in the attic. This about to be something crazy. Put your put your thoughts in the comments down below what you think it's going to be. I think it's going to be either daddy or maybe we got some other brothers and sisters that I've never met before. Oh my gosh, it's mommy. Okay, we got to run. We got to run you. Where do you think you're going? I told you not to go into the attic. Is this what I get for being a good mother? Come here, you'll have to be punished. <laughs> Hut to hut like I'm, I'm marching back to mommy. You're not my mom. What have you done with her? Honey, what do you mean? I'm your mother. And I'll show you my love by crushing your larynx. Get away from me! Okay, let's save because here comes the... Ah! Okay. Ooh, this is not funny. Uh-uh. It's like I'm playing the scary maze game, but fucked up. Ah! She got me. And the music was about to go in. I know y'all heard that. Dun, dun, dun. Yep, yep, yep. In the door. Ooh. Oh, shit! Okay, running from mom. Oh, shit. All right, mom. What was that? Oh, oh, oh. Look, it's like the progression of the picture. See them? Okay, we're split up. Ooh, ooh. These are definitely different timelines. Let's see, go in. Go in! Okay, let me in there. Bingo! Here we go. Save it, save it, save it. Uh oh. Uh uh, this is some Super Paper Mario. What's that one game? Oh shit. What? No, come back! This is against the pattern! I'm not going back. Whatever's behind that door will be way better than dying over and over again. Time to find out the truth. Let me... Can I grab a save first? End of chapter what? What? Okay, the only way I can describe this next horror game is disturbing looking. I don't know what it's about, but it's called Discover My Body. In the year 2040, human beings look for increasingly strange solutions in hopes of finding connection and community. Okay, it's 2040 and we still got those old ass taxi cabs. Distrusting previous institutions that supposedly brought people together in common, lonely people look to technology and science for answers. Okay. One such new technology is a physically powerful lab synthesized fungi. You, a medical student at the local university, have been brought in to study its application to a human host. No, 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 no. Uh, you must be the new student Dr. Morrison was speaking of. I hear you're quite bright. Have you ever studied a physical trans flower before? I see. Well, you're in for quite a treat. I don't know what the fuck that is, but it sounds wild. I have assisted with many flowerings before. Wait, so are we are we folk are we experimenting on humans or flowers? What is it? However, this is the first time in the hot seat. This facility is equipped with a neutron coronal scanner. You'll be able to view my transformation and its various effects on my bodily systems. Just navigate the icon over my body and scan for info points to click on. My brain's broca area has been linked to a digital readout, so even when I'm at the point where I am, beyond human speech, I'll be able to communicate. Well, please begin. Okay, thank you, man. Um, hmm. What am I supposed to examine? Scan? Th what is that? Oh. We're scanning his body. <laughs> we're discovering it, y'all. And we're discovering it together, which is sweet. Quite the physique going on. Oh, shit. Watch out, y'all. <laughs> Watch out. Let me see. So, how does one acquire such a... I mean, this guy's build is, is insane, low-key. What the fuck is that down there? What the hell is that? Wait, why do you got a woman's head attached to your leg, man? What? Okay, that... Can I scan that? The fuck? Aha, you've discovered the injection site. The fuck? So it turns your bottom leg into a fucking woman's head? Two weeks ago, Dr. Morrison took a bone-deep needle to my right shin. It hurt like hell. 
However, when he injected, it was worth its weight in gold. It was a skin grab of a successful PTB flowering. What's that? It kind of looks like a face? Well, the PTB organism is a physical organism. Its physical manifestation draws from a shared pool of all its denizens, traumas, fears, dreams. I believe that's my mother's face on the shin. What the fuck? <laughs> Wait a minute. That's just too much. Oh, how I miss her. But enough about me. Please continue the examination. <sighs> Fucking, I mean, I don't know if I want to at this point. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. How about we scan the skeletal? Look, it's like, it's got a reach on his body. Hold on, let's see. Ah! He, 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 okay, I was not expecting his skeleton to be up there. Aha, you've discovered my rotting bones. Yes, the rot has set in, certainly. It itches like the devil, but soft bones are required for the PTB to do its work. The human body was never intended to experience a flowering. In the process of one, in the process, one is contorted physically and physically. Hmm. Soft rotting bones are pliable enough to assume a flowering shape. Again, though, very painful stuff. When I begin to scream, I expect you to keep your cool, though. This should all be academic to you. Are you getting any class credit for this, by the way? I see. Well, please continue. Dude, I don't know if I want to, man. I'm gonna be honest. Um, we're gonna have to scan the nervous system, too. This is not gonna be great, because I'm about to start, like, touching shit, and then a nerve ending's gonna pop. Let's go ahead and scan. There we go. It's He's got something up in the neck. Aha! You've discovered the primordial inhibitor. The fuck? This is the device implanted in my brain stem, which helps to undo certain evolutionary safeguards against operations like this. It limits bodily and mental reactivity to meta- ex potential stimuli in not too many words the flowering is an evolutionary aberration one which requires some retooling of our formation of mental concepts so he's basically putting something in his brain that's rewiring his brain because his brain would tell him it would physically be impossible for this to happen if his brain worked the normal way so we had to get in there and change it for instance one who has flowered does not experience the human idea of time. But if I tried and apprehended this with my regular old monkey mind, I would go quite insane. But anyway, please go on, discover, explore. <laughs> ah! Aha, according to the concentration of the PTB in my blood, I will begin the flowering process very soon. Quick, give me your wallet. Down on it! Oh my gosh. Hold on, can, can we look at the... Ugh. Ow! Wait a minute, he looks like Shrek 3. Wow, that hurt. Sorry, I seem to have bit down too hard and broken a couple teeth. Give me a moment to spit them out. Now then, as you can see by my face, I am midway through the flowering process. Hurrah! I can feel the inkling of a pan-psychic connection, and my body has experienced amazing and terrible growth See for yourself. Oh, 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 shit. I don't want to see, to be honest. Um, uh-oh. Look, see, they're giving us little sneak peeks. What is that? Is this his whole body? What the fuck? Oh, shit. What the fuck happened to you, dude? Wow. Look, he doesn't even have legs anymore it's just like one giant growth that's disturbing as fuck all right well i mean to each their own jeez what the fuck dude what the hell look at this there it is right there let's see you've discovered that my hands have fallen off <laughs> yeah i can tell well i suppose i'll never play the violin again <laughs> Joking aside, this is pretty much to be expected. Part of the primordial inhibitor is to dissociate the brain and hand connectedness. As a result of this, the hands just fall off, as they are merely vestigial, vestigial baggage 
standing in the way of a superior evolution. Brother, how is it like, I feel like hands are pretty, I mean, unless we're going to use our minds for everything. How does that not superior evolution? I don't get that. I'm sorry. Just briefly had a bit of an ego death there for a moment. I can feel my thoughts intertwining in the rhizomatic group mind. Please continue. Let's see, there goes another little growth right there. You've discovered my bone growths. Just what I wanted to discover, dude. As I was saying about the dramatic changes, a PTB flowering occurs. Well, now at a bone deep level, my skeletal system is basically sponge cake. Bitch, can I have a bite? Is that gonna hurt really badly? But look closer. My bone fragments have begun to reassemble. Oh shit. <laughs> We're the Avengers. What the fuck? Into a complicated, if fragile, la latic of water thin psychic receptors. Some of the bones are poking out of my skin. I knew that. I felt it. <laughs> it feels good. Please go on. Um. All right. Time to scan the nervous system. There we go. Okay. What is that? You've discovered my new minds. So he's got, okay. All right, no, no, that's cool. To the extent that the brain is a mind that is, we'll leave that to the philosophers. As my own mind brain disintegrates into the group mind, what remains of my body becomes a small distribution of other flowering mind brains. As we speak, I'm flooded with powerful memories that are not my own. I feel, well, it's hard to even use the word I anymore. Even to distinguish ourself from our timeless unity seems wrong. I feel infinite pleasure as well as infinite pain. Is this what death is? Ah, uh -uh. infinite pleasure as well as infinite, but that sounds like a lot of conflicting. Okay, I see we are at the final stages. I complete the flowering. Initiate ple pain. In oh, infinite pleasure. O okay, death. No! Oh! No! Oh! Uh-uh. Uh-uh. I'm so happy. A game by Yammies? Or is that Yammies? Or is it is it is it James? Okay, this last one, we're gonna be a little goofy with it. I played two other games that I'm just not gonna put in here because they took themselves a little too seriously and it was like, what are we doing? I wanna have some fun as well. This is a horror game called Room 202. It's about living in a hotel. Yeah, we've all been there, right? Have have you been to a hotel, right? You are tired after a long trip. It's getting late. You decide to spend the night at a hotel. I love hotel. I'm, I've been telling y'all there's something about hotels. It's just like a moment in time. Like you're not really living, but you are. You, does anybody get it? You know what I'm saying? Like when you're here, you're home. <laughs> right? Okay. Hi. Checking in, sir. Hello, would you like a room for the night? No, I want two ice cream co Like, yes! Please, just for one night. <laughs> of course, I will get you a room key. Thank you. <laughs> Appreciate that. The fuck happened over there? <laughs> Don't mind that door. Just the wind. Here's your key, room 203. I can go stay across the street at the uh, the Motel 6 if this is gonna be a problem. All right, thank you, room 203. Hmm, okay. Well, can I take the stairs? That would be, I think we can take the stairs. Okay, good, I like taking the stairs. If I'm on the first, second, or third floor, even maybe fourth, I'm not trying to push it, but I will take the stairs sometimes, y'all. Just to, you know, get a little more fit. At the same time, not have to worry about the elevator breaking down. That's a scary one. It's happened to me. Uh, 201? 200? 202? Mm, so someone lives in there. What the fuck? You're like putting their plate out to... Ugh! Why is that in the hallway? You're disgusting. Okay. 203. Let's go, y'all. Let's see the room. Here's the, ooh, okay. It's not bad. This is my favorite part. Getting to see the room for the first time. Uh-oh. Okay, there goes my suitcase. This is not great. 
It's not bad, but it's not great. I should take a shower before I go to bed. Okay, well, do we got a TV? The Hmm. Hmm. Okay, this is gonna be something. Let's go take a shower, y'all. That's the thing. When I get to a hotel, I gotta put on the TV. There are like certain hotel shows that I'll have on the TV in a hotel. Is anybody the same way? Like, I gotta have Forensic Files. I gotta have South Park. Those are hotel shows. Let's see. Um, I'm all freshened up. Let's see. Maybe we can go check out the view. Oh, that's stunning. Can't call anybody. Is that a Bible in the drawer or a picture? I feel like, correct me if I'm wrong, but don't a lot of hotels, do, don't they have to have a Bible in one of the drawers? Or is that just a common courtesy thing? I'm not too sure. Welp, I'm doing a lot of talking, y'all. <laughs> Sorry about that. What do we do now? The fuck is that? I thought I saw someone. All right. Well, maybe we'll just go to bed. Is that possible? Yeah, let's do that. After a long day of, I don't know what we were doing. It's up to... What the fuck was that? <sighs> oh, for f sake, what is that noise? Hey, 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 hey. It's coming from the room across the hall. Hey. Yeah, they're getting down. Yeah, they're getting down. Do we gotta go and be a Karen? Make them shut the music off? Okay, 202, I hate to do this, but I really am trying to sleep. Turn down that noise! Some people trying to sleep here! The fuck? Is, is someone getting murdered in room 202? I need to call the hotel reception. Something is not right. Dude, the whole room is fucking bumping. Y'all see that? Alright, they getting crazy in there. Okay, let's call the hotel reception, because that's not going to do. That's not gotta do. I got an important meeting in the morning. I can't do this. I can't. <clears throat> Hotel reception. What can I do for you, sir? Okay. Room 203 here. There is something very wrong going on in room 202. It sounds like someone's getting fucked up. You are in room 203, sir? That's what I just said. Yes, I'm in room 203. That can't be right, sir. Room 203 is vacant. Well, no, it's not. Because let me look around. I'm, I'm standing here. So, hello? 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 Hmm. I'll take my video camera and record it for evidence then. <sighs> okay. All right, let's... I remember these. My mom used to have one of these. Every Christmas, she'd pull it out. The whole time, every Christmas morning. Let's see what you got. Let's see what you got. <gasps> oh, no. I... <laughs> it didn't look anything like this, y'all. I'm, I'm just going to be honest. Okay. Um... Oh, wow. Well, the music stopped. Hello, 202? Oh, this is the Diddy Party? What's going on? What does that say? That's an alien creature. This is an enter to meet enter the interdimensional party. That's what we're doing. What are you? Yeah, yeah. Oh no! Oh! I'm just gonna go back to my room. I'm not even gonna look. Oh! Oh! Do they want me to book it? Do they want me to book it this way? Uh uh. Uh uh. <gasps> What the fuck was... Like, what? <laughs> Wait a minute. Did, did, did we beat him? Okay, I mean, I'm not going back in there because we got jumped last time by his twin brother. Oh my gosh! Hi. All right. Sorry about that. Sorry about your death. All right. Yep. Yep, so that's who was getting fucked up in there. Unfortunate, y'all. Unfortunate. What's in there? Nothing. Alright, cool. No, no, you keep you keep doing your thing. I, I love that. Y'all wanna get out of here? Wanna go grab like some Denny's or something? I don't know what's open. 
Oh, shit. We can't move. We can move. Oh, my gosh, y'all. Hey, Denny said it real good right now. Someone start the car. Someone start the car. Someone get Google Maps open. We gotta go. Oh, my. Open the door. What the fuck is this? Okay, I'm trapped in a box. Um. Done! <gasps> Okay, we got demonic symbols. That stands for so the 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 devil watches over the twins. The the mom and the dad have the quadruplet devil children, and then all right, that's how you get to the the hallway of e eternal damnation. And then the the orchestra comes in singing, um, you know, you can hear it, right? So what we do now is we, we, we slouch forward. I'm making a new word up, slouch. I feel like that's what we're doing. We're kind of, you know, begrudgingly walking. So we're slouching up to the door with the, well, at least the cross is still upside right. You know what I'm saying? It's not upside down yet.